Okay, no problem. I would like to see PvT more. Maybe, maybe later. But uh, oh my god, <laughs> guys! I don't hate you, boys. I'm in love with you. I'm making this tournament for you, but. It's not working. So we have a non, which is a Hungarian, uh, Hungarian Terran player, and let me see. Um, the the Hungarian and Tech is a Chilean. Protoss player from Chile. Hmm, so this is interesting. Who do you think we will? We win Chile or Hungary? Hungary. I, I'm not hungry because I ate. Yeah, pro play. It was on stream, so you can watch it from the from the uh, videos. It was very nice, uh, especially match on the blue stone was so nice. Bakery was playing very nicely, and I think it was very close uh, match. I mean, his counter attacks was so good uh, that I almost thought he had it, but it was close. And I think everything is normal right now. I mean, normal like back in the days because maybe now normal is fast expansion. I'm not sure. Only two um, props are mining gas. This must be a mistake, because he will he would like to have 200 gas when the cybernetic will be done. Because he would like to make the the upgrade for a range and the dragoon. And right now, as we can see, he will have only around 120 gas, which will not be enough to make a range. Or maybe this is on purpose. On purpose. Un un purpose. Yeah, I, I thought also that uh, Dandy versus uh, Terror will be PvT. Yeah, Sonics, this is the bracket and we are on the round 4. So this was in Pope. <coughs> <coughs> this was not a mistake. He wanted to mine gas with two probes. This is calculated strategy. Oh, ending life. Maybe 150. But I think you would like to mine gas with free probes at the beginning. Hmm, second gateway. And still, he's having the gas surface. What is going on? What is going on? So, we can see some kind of aggression from Non. He's bringing six SCVs and four Marines, and there will be only two Dragoons to defend it, and maybe even one Dragoon. I thought he will catch it. Two dragoons. Very nice target firing on the probes. But I think Protoss should be able to defend it. He's not building the, the bunker. And 
look at that, the Terran army is so hard, it's so hard to kill. But Protoss is microing very nicely and two more Dragoons are coming to help uh, Protoss to defend this push and it is defended almost perfectly. Such a nice job by Ter. So much SCVs died. So many SCVs. I mean few probes also died but Ter have two Nexuses so he can produce probes twice as fast as as none can produce STVs and he's sending tank with the with the vulture so maybe he will try to apply even more play pressure I don't see any upgrades Yeah, he tried so hard, but look at that, he's now going, he understands that he needs to do something, so right now he's not producing more STVs, he's spending all the money he have on units because he understands that if he will, will want to win this game, it needs to be now, and I really like that he's, he left one mines of this vultures just to have a uh, possibility to make mines close to the dragoons but i believe tech position is very nice and it will be very hard to break it only with vultures uh, because none would like to run by with vultures probably maybe this tank will be used as a distraction let's look because it is possible if it would be flash it might work but let's see there are four gateways out of gateways there will be observer in a second so it will be excellent timing for observer and Let's look how quickly this tank will die. Oh my god, such a quick death. Very nice mines from Non, but such a nice micro from Tech. He's able to come and uh, come to this small choke and defend over here. He will have Observer in this. Where is the Observer? Over here. And this is it. It almost worked. So we have one only for Tech. <clears throat> and we have a rematch. This is the map of none. This is the Terrans map. Terrans like this this map because they can mm, make four expansions pretty easily. And Terran with four expansions and three raffineries with three extractors, uh, they are a, they are able to make 200, 200 on two one and just crash the Protoss. So maybe this is the idea for Mr. Non on this map. And he is a brown Terran on the bottom left position <clears throat> and in the uh, top left position we have a blue protoss who is tech who is leading 1-0 right now and he feels pretty comfortable right now i believe <coughs> hmm. yeah ruskik is right he would uh, if he would make the, this, I mean, if he was, uh, if he would add one more SCV to produce the bunker, it, the bunker will be done on time. So it was small mistake, but it is right. It was the, the definitely mistake from non during this push. <coughs> uh, the previous map was Jade. And Whoa, this is very quick raffinery and he cut the uh, CV production for a second. I'm not sure this is normal. But definitely it it didn't look normal. So 
So guys, you should. Um, I, I will rem repeat it. You should uh, read the Team Liquid um, on forum of World War tournaments on about BSL thread because I will announce there the casting for the for the casters of BSL Chobo. There will be a lot of casters because I would like to allow a lot of casters to cast and and uh, and yeah. If you would like to cast, you will be also able to sign in for it. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to say. And we already have some weird beard from, from Tech. I mean, some weird pylon. Maybe this is just for scouting because it will be so easy for, to scout over here. <coughs> Oh, it would be such a nice mind game if you will drag this SCV to this pylon to pretend that he wants to do something sneaky and if he would go for like normal strategy. And actually nothing, nothing weird right now. He's mining gas from with three probes. And I really like the scouting of the Terran right now because Protoss can do a lot of weird things. He can do fast to reverse, he can go for double gateways pressure, he can go for fast dark templars. And thanks to this scouting, he knows that nothing weird is going on, at least in the main base. Mm, so, but on the other, other, bet, other thing is that he didn't scout anything. So he doesn't know which direction Protoss is going for. And I believe Non is going for a standard opening. Fast Nexus and probably into fast command center. The probe will scout the marine count, but nothing else beside it. And where is the money? Oh, so there, there the money went. So there will be double tank into Vulture's push. Maybe it will work this time. Dragoon is definitely not enough to kill so many marines and two uh, and and two uh, tanks. Oh, very nice, Mark. I really like delaying this push because he needs to do it if he would like to defend it because he only have uh, four dragoons overall and he he have only one gateway to produce dragoons. So if he will not defend it. With these units, he will not defend it never. He will never defend it. He will not defend it ever. Look how quickly these dragons are dealing damage. These tanks are dealing damage to dragons. The probes are fighting. Very nice micro from there. Oh! So it was. Control it. I thought this mine was. Oh, this mine could be perfect. But it didn't go as perfect as as it could be. And how long until siege will be done? <clears throat> These dragons are. are five kills and no kills. I really like the Mark Micro from uh, from uh, from non he's applying so much pressure and siege will be done soon how long oh he's not making zealots he wants to go into river i think this the good shields will be regenerated regenerated oh and it will be much harder to do anything i think vision is the key yeah And 
the Agun and Weaver will be there. Oh, let's see if it will be enough. The Bunker also will be there, but oh my god, there are no... Uh, there are no uh, observers. But it looks like he will defend it pretty easily, actually. I didn't expect that it will be so... Oh! Oh, Riva. Riva, Riva, Riva. So, Tech defended it, but in the same time, Non was able to take expansion. He's having pretty fine position. It was not all in. But I didn't expect that, that Tech will defend it so easily. It was nicely done by, by the... By the by the Protoss from Chile and now it is a time to add 12 more, more gateways and start this fantastic journey with 1A, 2A and 3A let's see if it will happen but look at the supply lead from Tech I'm not sure how is it possible maybe he because yeah he didn't lose so many Diagoons at the beginning he defended perfectly and he had this this badly hurt Diagoons at the back of this his army This pylon intrigues me. What what is the reason of this pylon at the beginning? Oh, this observer. Last breath. Oh 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 oh! Oh, he didn't spot it. Hidden, hidden turret. This is how you do it as a Terran player. Yeah, he lost zero probes, or maybe one or two probes. That's right, Mr. Bakuyu. So after this match, we'll be able to see who will play, who will play against each other in next week in a round of one win and three loses. And so many gateways being added from Tech. And I really like it because um, Terran just started to, to, to macro up. He's having pretty nice economy. And he's like making this impossible to kill a ball of units. Two probes will die now. So this is more than during a push. Yeah, Gecko. Uh, uh, Eon versus uh, Dewalt was casted before this game. So you missed it. So <laughs> we will have four factories. <laughs> this next one even still lives. And this is probably proper wall in. I don't know about walls. We need to ask Donald Trump about it because he donated one dollar, so he's here. But it looks like tight wall for vultures. Oh, three kills. I say about this game guys I would like to see four more factories from non because if you have three expansions you are able to produce from seven factories eight factories I believe and look at tech he's producing from six gateways all the time I mean maybe not all the time but he's producing units from six gateways he's taking in, taking into arbiter he's trying to take this expansion but he would like to make Bisumicro over here, on the, or just send one Dragoon. And yeah, Non is trying to apply some pressure. Oh, this mine might be terrible for it. Oh no, very nicely done by, by Non. And he missed the mines a little bit. But it was nicely done by a, by a Hungarian Herian. Hmm. 
So plus one will be here and I believe there is, oh no, there isn't plus. Oh my God, what is it? What the fuck? So this is upgrade probably. Huh, such a nice bug. And Protoss is having such a such a big lead in uh, in limit in case of the limit, but I believe it it should not matter right now because Terran will leave the base when he will have 200 200 probably. So this is what I was saying talking about at the beginning of this game. This is a good map to take four bases to make this incredible economy, very good upgraded army, and add a lot of factories and then move out with an uh, unbreakable army and this is what Non is trying to do in the same time Tech is going for Arbiter so he understands what he needs to do from his part of, of the game he needs to make a limit and and attack with the limit as soon as possible uh, and try to like kill the army of, of Terran when, when it is not uh, as powerful as, as possible But look, this limit is coming closer. Non started to macro up, and seven factories is is something. But this is what Protoss needs. This arbiter enables him a way to recall into the main base of a Terran, just to buy some time, and or maybe state status just to also buy some time and and uh, reduce the the power of the of the army um, of Terran. So we will have two two upgrades. And the limit is on and in the same time Tech is going for attack. Look how many tanks there is, but there are not so many vultures, so maybe this tanks this this Zilos will be able to deal a lot of damage. Really nice state is and we will also have the tanks uh, the Zilos on top of the tanks. Look how many zealots they are! They are floating the army of Terran. There are only one, one. But look how small the number, the, the limit of Protoss is right now. But he will probably be able to kill it pretty easily. I mean, kill this expansion, I thought. But oh, this mine is huge, and this mine will kill everything. Yeah. So this zealot will deal. Will be will be killed and look at the limit. Look at the supplies. This is almost even. So right now, Protoss should produce as many units as possible. Bull. And really nice macro from Non. Hmm. At, at the beginning of this attack, I thought it will work for Protoss, but somehow Non defended it. I think maybe this tank helped a lot. To kill these zealots but it looked very nice for a protoss player and suddenly terran won so this is very impressive from our hungarian terran hungry terran so four plus four plus two ten gateways against four plus four plus two ten factories so this is definitely good for a terran Plus one upgrades, plus two is not on the way. Hmm. Look how nicely the observers are scouting everything. And even, even here the shuttle is scouting. And none in the same time is taking two expansions. I really like it. And plus two, plus one. So look how quickly Non is able to really rebuild his limit. Much quicker than a tech. And I believe his army is more powerful also, because this is only pure Dragoon Zealot army plus Arbiters. So <clears throat> the stat is needs to be amazing. But this time it is much more vultures and mass, much less uh, tanks from none. But in the other part, I think there is a lot of Zealots from... Oh, there is not a lot of... He's just adding Zealots now. 
so maybe it will be good composition this river is trying to do something he should be careful and he can delay these expansions with this river also so it is nice to see him in the 17th 18 minute of the game he still have this river which he built in, in six minute or seven <clears throat> i mean this is not the river which died to to the mine but it was the the one built after that Look how big this army of Terran is and he's moving out like a boss in the middle of the map. I don't care what Protoss have, I know I just need to do 1A, 2A and 3A. Look how many Zealots there are but I don't think this is enough of the Agoons to fight with this army. Maybe it is, this is very nice tank, really nice Matrix but oh my god, Terran army looks like Terran army is dying or, or I'm stupid, yeah I'm stupid. So, yeah, the Protoss army is dying and unfortunately from, for Tech, I think this is it because in the same time, oh, this is the old school strategy, cannoning up the Terran. Two two upgrades. Two 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 two. And BSL Tech GG left the game. Sometimes replay is not working and and uh, and it not shows the GG. But players are are, are say, putting GG, but it not sh it's not showing GG. Oh, and we have a, we will have PVT on Sparkle. So we will have a tie and. This will be the decider match between Non from Hungary and Tech from Chile. Ba, 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 ba. So. Wait a second, boys. Who do you think will win?
So guys, 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 I'm here and Eon versus Dewalt will win <laughs> Ikigo. You are not giving up boys. I really like you consistently. You need to practice as consistent with that, with that, that consistency on, in Blood Bowl and you will be on top. So yeah, let's focus on a game. This is a tech versus non-decider match. We are having uh, the fast expansions from both players. Um, nipple magic, magic hand. Oh, so there was small pause, but very well mannered. Please pause. Mm -hmm. Nothing weird, I believe, right now is going on. Second gateway. Oh, very quick second gateway. This zealot will try to kill this sea disruptor for sure. So everything is going. So ham out of a nipple. It would be a high level of ham. <laughs> or, or not, or low level. Yeah, I believe low level. This is TV is like dancing with the marines like Hello yeah that this is Sparkle Sparkle and this is the cider match before between Mr. Tech from Chile and Mr. Non from Hungary <laughs> Ending life Yeah it, it, it wasn't casted yet <laughs> guys Robotics facility. And I don't understand why he made four marines. I mean, maybe this is anti river or something, but I really liked when Koget was trying to kill this, kill it, and it he was repairing it in the same time. I mean, he didn't realize it, but we saw it in last week. No back of you, you can't shave your moustache. Mm. Nuke B4. This is bombastic style. This is the highest level Brood War. Highest level Brood War style. The best foreigners are playing over here. So we have the high level Brood War. And bunker over bunker over here. And this bunker will be in a really nice position because it should be able to defend against against river from, from this two sides, maybe from here not, but it is pretty nice position for a bunker. And he's adding some Goliaths, so I'm wondering what is the plan of this game for uh, for a Terran? Because I don't know what Terrans should do in the long term in Sparkle. Maybe they can try to go into air control. I mean, Valkyries plus Corsairs plus plus rights against Corsairs, but both of the players are going for ground units. Hmm. And it looks like none is perfectly prepared against anything. And speed shuttle is very important on on these maps. I really like that Tech is producing probes still. This expansion will be pretty important for him. And I want, I'm wondering if he will be able to do anything with the... Um, with the... River, because... I don't see any gap. Maybe here is small gap. But other than that... I mean, Speed Shuttle can do a lot, but... Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Such a nice intercepting the shuttle. Hmm. I would like to see the Nexus as soon as possible. So, no, didn't... Scout anything with this barracks and he will lose it 
unfortunately oh he will not use it lose it because there is no range or but it is not burning oh but he will send some dragoons to shoot it a few times more and now he it is burning Look, four shuttles. I really like shuttles. I think they are Imba. Oh, and he's making transition into into double starport dropships. Or I'm not sure, but this will be eight dragoons, six dragoons, uh, seven dragoons, and one river. Look how quick! Oh my god! He will lose the shuttle before he will unload the units? No! He unloaded the units and there is nothing to defend it! It looks like Non was not prepared for this kind of attack and it is very effective for Tech to do it! Oh my godness! What? What can he do? I mean, he have six, five Goliaths over here. Oh, maybe he will defend it with the help of the CVs. The CVs are very powerful. Oh, they are trying to kill these poor dragoons but it was very successful attack from our Protoss players uh, but I didn't def expect that none will defend it so nicely done by him and this is not the end of the game because Tech is not having like amazing economy he had Nexus here but he don't he didn't have time to transfer any probes there he killed one factory so this is important but if he will catch this uh, this double shuttles which are going into the uh, Goya's position and yeah it looks like he will be able to kill the 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 reverse nicely done so non defended it the second attack I think tech went a little bit too greedy with that. So Ruski, I hope you are liking the stream because there is a lot of strategies over there. Yeah, the rivers are pretty expensive. This is 200 minerals and 100 gas. Um, so this is pretty expensive unit. And look at that, he is adding Nexus over here. In the back here, yes. Oh, they will try to snipe some shuttle, but it will take a year to kill. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh my god, how quickly they are killing the the Protoss air units. With this upgrade especially. There are only five, six probes over there. I would like to see transfer. I mean, he will mine with seven probes over here, but... Maybe it will be fine. I really like that Non is having this expansion because it will give him huge um, possibility of growth. Yeah, the sound of Valkyrie's rockets is very interesting. And Valkyrie's are like freezing for a second when they are shooting. And if he will be able to intercept some drop with the with the uh, with the Valkyries, it will be huge for him. And I believe five Valkyries might one shot the shuttle, so it will be very hard for Protoss to do any damage without risking losing all the units he have. Look at that! There will be six shuttles, and. I wonder if Protoss can just try to take these two expansions and go for carriers because it might be this kind of a game. Non was playing all the time on two factories. 
and Stargate is being added. So I believe right now Tech found, finds out that there is a base over there and he will try to counter it as quickly as possible. Yeah, he's doing it, but in the same time Non is prepared against it and he will try to snipe the shuttles with the with the Valkyries and it will be very very dangerous. Oh my god, it might be terrible. But it didn't work as good as I thought it will. But at least all the shuttles go down. So he will produce more shuttles from now on. So this was very nice hold by Tech. I mean, he have whole army stacked over here, but at least he defended the, the, uh, the expansion. So this is a very important thing. And I really like the Arbiter Tribunal. This is the easiest way to, to uh, transfer your units. The third robotics facility, plus one upgrade against one. Well, this is the the, the yeah. And denying these expansions will mean that Protoss will play on the same amount of bases as as a Terran. <laughs> this was so sad for these shuttles. Poor shuttles. No one is doing it. This is a very interesting game on this map. I need to say it. This Valkyria little commander, lieutenant commander probably. So all of them are lieutenant commander. There is some general with 10 kills maybe. <laughs> maybe little commander is, I don't think this is little command. <laughs> so this is a lieutenant. I have a friend who is lieutenant in Poland. But I don't think this is something great to be. Maybe it is. Because Lutena is a Pukovnik, yeah? Uh, I mean Poruchnik. Because Pukovnik is something great in Poland. how many Valkyries there is and I think they will be able to intercept the Arbiter even and Protoss badly needs another income look at the supplies, no have advantage and so many units are being transferred to this expansion but there are the Agoons waiting but he'll go for it anyway. This is pretty weird for me, but it should work. Maybe it will. Yeah, it does. And the most expensive, the most important base from, from Tech is, is dying. Perfectly. He's trying to catch some uh, some shuttles. Somehow Terran still have some money in the in his main base. I mean, he's almost mined out in the natural expansion. This mineral field will like, disappear in a second. And this fleet of Valkyries. This was a really nice idea to make Valkyries to intercept the shuttles but this is what Tech is expecting to work this is his last choice 
maybe this command center will scout it or, or I, I'm not sure hmm. yeah this is a cool choice especially on this map they are killing the protoss units so quickly work also but the huge drops drop is coming in and in the same time i believe there will be recall to this expansion of non and this is also very important expansion of a uh, of a uh, oh my god but he is he wants to go to the main base huh will he be able to do it he should recall now yeah it worked and there is so much units from Protoss on top of the factories and I believe where are the dropships? they are here so they are coming back to save this expansion in the same time no, Tech is mined out almost mined out so this is the most important uh, army of his and he should deal as much damage as possible with this army there are some reinforcements coming in but he will have a storm he should storm perfectly if he wants to win this game this is very nice storm from tech very nice storm number two and it looks like the army of none is disappearing but there are some next next generation goliaths coming in how long until another storm this is such an intense game, very close game. Non is having this expansion. He's taking this expansion. This is very also very important. Maybe he will be able to defend it. Over maybe with this STDs. But the storm will be here soon. And this storm might be able to save the dragoons. Tech needs to realize it. Storm, storm, storm. Come on! Whoa. Yeah, this is the one of mech upgrades for ground army but uh, if we will find Valkyrie, yes there are one one upgraded so he was upgrading the air weapon air, air units and there are high templars to defend this base look at known he's trying to make expansion anywhere he can and this is very nicely done because he have the air control so if he will lose this expansion he can easily cover the, the air uh, mm, the air in this huge distance with this Valkyries so the Arbiter how much this is the only Arbiter I believe it is but non situation is pretty good He's having some units here. Hmm. I really like the science vessel flying in with this uh, army of Valkyries. Oh! He will try to kill this expansion. Really nice attack from, uh, from Tech. This is most important expansion. But the STVs will kill the army of Protoss for sure. <laughs> this is so funny. When the STV is most valuable units you have. Maybe recall here might give a chance for tech. There will be storm. If he would like to use it, there will be storm. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, it's working. Huge storm. Storm Arena. And we will have recall again probably. But this time into this expansion and it will not work probably because of... Oh, what happened? Oh, so he EMP at it. Whoa, if he would kill this expansion it would be much better because... Hmm. Yeah, it looks like 
But look how much units this Protoss have. He just can't leave his base with these units. So he sees everything. There is no energy for... Uh, oh, and STVs again are doing what they... Oh, and one Dragoon. This is such a waste. <laughs> Poor Tech is trying to do the best he can, but it is so hard to fight with the shuttle against Valkyries. Oh yeah, that's true, Avilov. He should make hallucinations, but also the... Uh, the Valkyries have splash damage. And I think covering these two bases is very, very important. Hmm. This Arbiter should have energy soon. When was this... I mean... Will he see it or not? These uh, Valkyries are positioned very nicely. <laughs> Shuttle with a probe. The income of a Protoss player is very, very low. And Terran, it looks like Terran have all the map, all the visions he needs. But he didn't see this Arbiter. There are mines and there are some units to defend it, so this vehicle needs to be excellent. Oh! Very nice storm. Very nice storm number two and very nice storm number three, but it is not enough. Maybe it is. Really nice storms from, from tech, but yeah wasn't able to do anything and the Valkyries are here in the same time six shuttle drop might try to kill this expansion this shuttle is still full and he will try to load these units and I believe he should send the, the dropships home This is the most important attack of tech, sparkle life, sparkle. Look at these tanks, they are almost dead, but they are still dealing so much damage. <gasps> we have recall! Just on top of the mines, but it should be enough to kill this base. Definitely enough. Oh, why nicely done by Tech. He's mining from one base, but he's doing the best he can. Oh my god, so many dropships. There are no High Templars here, so he wants to punish the only mining base of Tech. Whoa, whoa, we were. These three minerals patches are also minerals. Yeah, but it will be very, very hard for Protoss to get back into this game. I mean, I mean, it is still possible, but I'm not sure. These Valkyries have so many kills. All the kills are very expensive units. This is not a Zerg. Zerg cool units. Wow, 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 yeah, that's true. This is the uh, General Admiral Aladdin uh, sentence. And this is it. 
this is 2-1 for the node. So 